Hey guys, now that we have the expensive Double Masters product coming to a local Target or Walmart near you, I think Walgreens will also get it. Uh, Walgreens got Modern Horizon, so I don't see why it wouldn't get uh, the Double Masters. Now maybe not every place gets VIP Masters, but I assume a large majority of the Walmarts and the Targets will get some product um, there's actually a specific product it's called two pack so it's exactly what it sounds like that is meant for uh, big box retailers and i mean they've sold every other master set this way i don't know why they would not um, sell it and it definitely has increased the amount of crime and your local walmart or target or even walgreens uh, stealing cards is pretty I mean, compare it, relatively speaking, when you're talking about value, uh, you probably don't even need to take all the cards. You just need to take the rare mythics and chase um, the rares mythics and maybe if there's a chase uncommon or something like that. Walmart is experiencing a huge, huge thing. Uh, Barnes & Noble, that's another one uh, that might have this product. Um, the more expensive the product gets, the more likely people are going to steal it especially if it is a card game. And I've seen in my local humble area, a lot of people stealing cards and it doesn't take a genius. You go there and you see that the cards are opened, the packs are open, the plastic is ripped. Uh, there's a camera pointing right at it, but I don't think people care. And in Magic the Gathering, uh, as well as Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, there is probably a more I don't want to say people are more likely to steal than normal people, but I think that's what it is. I mean, you can go, um, if you collect sports cards, for instance, this is not quote stealing, right? But, um, and you go to the sports card area, which is the same area as magic cards, and you feel around because autographs are a little different. Um, patches are different size because they include a piece of clothing, so they tend to be bigger. So if you just uh, felt the pack, you could determine if that pack was worth buying or not. You will see that all the cards are sorted and you might see grown adults um, there for hours on the floor sorting cards or with their hands, right? For the sports card industry. So it isn't just magic cards, it's not just Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon, it's not just sports, it's anytime you have a card game, you are going to get people who steal. Now, the more expensive the items that you can get in the card game are, the more likely people will steal it. I mean, that makes sense, right? So if you, if it took the same amount of effort and these relatively the same amount of risk to steal a $4 booster pack, why wouldn't you steal a $140 booster pack? I mean, it took you, I mean, you're doing the exact same thing. I mean, maybe the $140 booster pack is slightly bigger and comes in a box instead of a uh, plastic wrapping but even though the blister packs they all come so as you know my distributor and my current distributor which i'm still ordering things from that i want uh, is walmart uh, they are the holding company of walmart um, and it is not sorry not the holding company so mmm holdings restocks but sometimes when the inventory is there for a long time you might see a sticker on it but then the inventory can also be pulled by Walmart and then stored. And that's how I get the inventory is I get the inventory. It's not just uh, card games. It's also movies and toys and Marvel legends and these things. Um, if they feel like they have too much of it that they don't want to stock it or store it, they sell it to, you know, different people um, under a different company. So that's who my uh, contract is with. And in my experience, um, sometimes when they sell it to me, the packs are repurchased. I have, uh, I, when I was doing my Pokemon channel, I hit a bunch of packs and, and you, you either get really unlucky because if one of the packs does not have like a rare or the foil that you expect in the Pokemon pack or the uh, code, the uh, code for the game, the online Pokemon game, you know you're screwed because you know that hundred, you know that batch from that particular Walmart that dude has stolen the card. So I have also been a victim of this because uh, Walmart would sell me these packs and these packs may have been resealed. They may have, I mean, there was, I have video proof of this actually happening. 
uh, to me um, on my other channel where uh, people return packs, they reseal the packs, and you know, then Walmart you know puts the packs out again, and hey, it sucks. And I'm sure that you've seen this. I'm, I'm sure everyone has gone to Walmart or Target and has seen, you know, pack wrappings, open boosters, or maybe a commander deck instead of like the commander in front. It's just a plane. Uh, this is very common because people steal all the time uh, in Magic the Gathering. I remember one of the first lessons I learned, and this was a very hard lesson, was um, if you see like a bunch of friends um, and one of them is playing you and the other one wants to trade with you at the same time, they are absolutely going to try to steal from you. They are 100% stealing from you because one of them is playing you and the other one is distracting you and you hand over your binder and suddenly all your cards, you know, your cards are gone uh, after the game. Um, and I can tell you that happens very often. Um, the whole, uh, what do you value this at? It's because you want to catch someone slipping. And that was before really we had the phone technology, right? Uh, that we have today where you have to pay mess money for data plans. Uh, it was very expensive back then, but, uh, people would use their advantage to rob, essentially rob people in trades. So when you talk about like stealing from Target or stealing from Walmart or stealing from Barnes and Nobles or anywhere GameStop, I'm sure people steal from GameStop all the time. Um, this is just uh, the cost of business. And when I open my game store, um, so it's not just these uh, chains, right? It could also be your local game store. Uh, one thing that I did not calculate was the amount of stolen merchandise that I would have to, that would just go missing. Um, I'm not going to tell you what store it was, but the police had to get called. So it wasn't my store, but it was a store near me. The police had to get called. And I mean, you see like him and you say, see, oh yeah, he's definitely a magic player. He definitely stole a bunch of cards and he's not ashamed of it. And I'm sure people know who he is. Uh, you know, I mean, he's pretty arrogant looking, but these are not like kids stealing cards. I'm talking about full grown ups, like this age or older because there's such a big business in stealing cards. Um, and the more expensive cards get, the more people will steal them because, I mean, if you're going to steal a $4 booster pack, why don't you steal a $10 booster pack? Why don't you steal a $20, $25 booster pack, the collector's edition? Why don't you steal, you know, a um, double master's booster pack? You will because it's all... It, it's all the same to you, but it just makes your margins much, much higher. Now, as a store owner, yeah, a lot of things went missing all the time. And sometimes it's your employees. So in that case, so let me go back to this case. Um, the police had to get called in and they had videotape, they had evidence. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you how the story ends, but this was an employee. So like if you hire an employee... Uh, and then used to, and then that this was a, and a totally different employee, not the same one who the police got called in. The police did not get called in. And this employee employee was just asked to leave. Um, this uh, semi attractive female would always come in around fr right before Friday Night Magic and sell fake counterfeit Magic cards to the store that were clearly counterfeit, and the guy would pay for it. Um, and then they would cash out, you know, even at 10%, they're making a bunch of money because they, they're not real cards. And, and I told them every time, Hey, you know what? Uh, you're, you're not doing a good job. And then I reported him to the owner and then eventually he got cleared out that, yeah, the guy was doing it. And that, uh, person was someone he wanted to date. Um, so then there's other cases. Um, another big uh, case I remember I mean, it's just so crazy when you own a store and you join one of these uh, private Facebook groups and then they tell you all about, you know, don't hire this person, don't hire that person. This person will steal from you. This person will drink soda nonstop from your company. You know, it's, you never really plan for loss. Um, but I mean, people steal all the time. They steal from Walmart. They steal from Target. They steal from their local game store. Um, yeah, okay, so another story I had, the same uh, worker, um, I 
had I as a customer had bought six boxes of Eldritch Moon, so I was expecting to get six Falias, as was promised, but they only gave me one. And a guy just kind of blew his like casket, like or I I said, oh, I really would like six, and said, no, 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 you can't get this. Was a legacy staple, blah 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 blah. And it turned out to be kind of a trash card, to be honest. Um, but I just wanted them because they were promo Falias. And not because I thought they would be like super valuable, but I just wanted them. And then he took the same filias and put them on his own personal eBay, and that's how they caught the dude. <laughs> oh man, like you can't make some of this stuff up. It's like really crazy how uh, much stealing goes around Magic: The Gathering from the players, from the uh, employees of the store. I mean, everybody is stealing in <laughs> Magic: The Gathering. So is it surprising that? People were stealing these expensive packs from Walmart? No.